so precisely, but somehow that's exactly what they did. Remarkably, the sides of them are perfectly formed triangles. How the Egyptians quarried, cut, and transported all the granite to the Giza Plateau is still a mystery. They had no domestic animals to pull or wheels strong enough to carry the loads of stone, but somehow they managed. We have monumental inscriptions, we have official texts, we have temple archives, but we don't have individual letters of people actually involved in hauling those stones up the mud brick ramps and building the pyramid. It'd be nice if we did. The pyramids of Giza were symbolic for the ancients, and they are for modern man as well. They have become the massive reminders of a world where men could be called upon to help construct images for their leader. These man-made mountains tell little of the genius behind the skillful engineering needed for their sturdy construction, but much about man's determination. After all, it is believed that they were built by using unlimited labor, countless men willing to work until the job was done. The theories of just how they were constructed vary. Some experts believe laborers harnessed to